Please welcome the worshipful, the Mayor of Ellesmere Port, Councillor Michael Edwardson, and his consort, Councillor Gareth Gould. It's been an honour and a privilege to serve as Mayor of Ellesmere Port for the last two years. I've been pleased to help raise £2,438.74 for my chosen charities, the Chapter and the Hospice of the Good Shepherd. Thanks to all who have donated and contributed to the charity events. During my first year as Mayor, my consort and I were pleased to attend numerous events in our town, borough and farther afield. We saw firsthand the great work undertaken by many national and community organisations. During this past unprecedented year, our duties have revolved around commemorations. Recently for His Royal Highness the late Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, plus for those who have passed away due to COVID-19 and to mark the traditional season of remembrance. I pay tribute to the fortitude and community support shown by the residents of Ellesmere Port in this unique year. My thanks extend to them and also for the support given by my consort, Councillor Car Gareth Gould. Civic and Locality Office staff, Steve as Civic Attendant, Deputy Mayor Councillor Peter Rooney and his consort Mrs Sharon Rooney, fellow Cheshire Civic Leaders, Reverend Canon Gordon McGuinness, Rector of Ellesmere Port, the Friends of Reutlingen Group, Justin Madders MP and my fellow Charter Trustees. I wish the new Mayor and Deputy Mayor and Consorts every best wish for the future. The Civic Party will now leave the room. Please welcome the worshipful the Mayor of Ellesmere Port, Councillor Lisa Denson, and her consort, Mr. Chris Denson.
Peter Danson, having been appointed to the office of mayor for Ellesmere Port, hereby declare that I take the said office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties thereof according to the best of my judgment and ability. I would like to start off by saying a huge thank you to Councillor Michael Edwardson for all the hard work that he has done as Mayor for the last two years. Councillor Edwardson will certainly go down in history for being the only Mayor of Ellesmere Port to stay in post for two consecutive years. I'd also like to say thank you to Councillor Gareth Gould for supporting Councillor Edwardson as his consort and now going on to be the new Deputy Mayor for 2021. It is a real honour to be presenting this to Councillor Michael Edwardson, one of the loveliest, kindest men I know. A huge congratulations and thank you. Please come and collect your mayor's medal.
was left to my own devices. Many days fell away with nothing more. And the walls kept tumbling down in the city that we I would also like to say a huge thank you and well done to all the children and staff from Westminster Community Primary School. They have all worked so hard to put their film together in such short notice. Thank you so much for being part of this special occasion. You are all amazing. My name is Lisa Danson. I am the local councillor for the Westminster Ward. I have lived in Ellesmere Port all of my life and for the most part in the Westminster area, where I still live with my own family. I attended John Street Primary School and from there went on to Stanley High. On leaving school, I went on to a career in retail and over the years, I held a variety of different shop manager roles. It was during one of these roles in Runcorn when I met my husband, Chris. Yes, I used to be his boss. And I'm sure 19 years later that he would tell you that not much has changed. We went on in quick succession to welcome into the world our three daughters, Gracie, Evie and Ruby. And with our family complete, I became a full-time mum. After having my daughters, I went through a period of postnatal depression and for a time really struggled with social isolation. With the support of my family, I managed to turn these feelings into something positive. In 2013, Westminster Families Community Group was born. Myself, Chris and my friend Jackie wanted to create a group that would bring the community together in a non-judgmental environment and provide free, 
low-cost activities for families and remove all social inequalities. Over the last eight years, Westminster Families has gone from strength to strength, hosting numerous events such as community cafes, school holiday programmes, Christmas parties and many more. Westminster Families was a really real turning point in my life. It made me realise that I was not alone in my struggles. Together, we have created an invaluable support network for families within the Westminster and beyond. I have been truly blown away by the power of community spirit. Due to my work with Westminster Families, I was invited by Councillor Nicole Murden to be one of her consorts during her year as mayor. During one of these events, Councillor Murden said to me, Lisa, you'd make a good councillor. I remember laughing nervously and saying, me, I'm Lisa from the Wesley. The very next day, I became a member of the Labour Party and in 2019, I was named the councillor for my home ward of Westminster, one of the proudest moments of my life. As a new councillor, I cannot thank my fellow comrades enough for all their support, guidance, and most of all, friendship. I feel extremely privileged to be part of such an amazing team. Over the next 12 months, I will work hard to raise as much money as possible for my chosen charities, which are Street Pastors. Street Pastors are made up of a team of trained volunteers from local Christian churches. A team of people who really care about their local communities. They work on the streets of Chester and are there to care for, listen to and help people in need, working in partnership with the police and the local council. The team also work with our local high school, Ellesmere Port Church of England College, offering a reassuring and friendly presence to students. The aim of the street pastors is to care, listen, help, and offer support and pastoral care to both pupils and staff. My next charity is the Canal and River Trust, National Waterways Museum. The museum is a huge part of Ellesmere Port's history, which occupies part of 200 year old historical dock. The museum showcases the history of the canal and the town where visitors can experience what it looked like to live and work in the docks. Over the years, the team at the museum have been extremely supportive of, of my community group Westminster families. And I know how they work tirelessly with local schools and the wider community to enrich the lives of people living within Ellesmere Port. My last charity is CHAPS. CHAPS is a small charity with a big heart providing support to over 2,500 people across Cheshire. Outside of COVID, CHAPS were providing 90 plus activities every month for children, young people and adults on the autism spectrum, along with their families. Autism is the fastest, fastest growing disability in the world, with a current rate of one in 50. CHAPS motto is that all children can achieve anything they want with the right support, advice, guidance and mentoring. I know firsthand of the importance of organisations like CHAPS. Three fantastic organisations that I really look forward to working alongside over the coming 12 months. It has been a really difficult year for us all and it's sad we haven't been able to celebrate the mayor making in the usual way, surrounded by family and friends. But hopefully, following the government guidelines, we will be holding a celebration event later in the year. Anyone who knows me will tell you that my passion is community. I hope to spend my year as mayor celebrating and supporting communities coming back together again in our amazing town. It is a real honour to be the mayor of my hometown and I look forward to meeting as many people as possible. Thank you. The Civic Party will now leave.